Right, flashes over from Fallen will make their way up and out. Bomb Plant will not get secured just yet. They've got crosses locked from Floppy and Car and Cloud9 will strike first, take that first kill. Daco with a decent trade back on OC and Plants will go down to the default position. KNG. Spotting out TT side players as JT strikes down on one. Taco can trade. Spot another one on top of Red Train. He'll get tagged up in his own right. MOTM on 20 points of health. As Floppy and Sonic still get those kills. Taco gets aggressive, gets his third. Looking for his fourth. He's running out of ammo though. And Floppy is here to back up his teammate. They are running slightly out of time, but that kill coming in quick enough. They should be able to get the defuse with 10 seconds. They might be able to have fur to lead the charge. Again, Fallen puts the two flashbangs over. No one gets blinded off. And Floppy will spot them all, making their way out. Connect one, connect two. And back up behind the train to try and get some cover. Mayan beats him though. Good tag from OC will tag him back. And the bomb plant does come through from Fallen. So playing out his upgrade pistol for the AK that Mayan had on himself. Obviously being heavily tagged up. Pop flash up, trying to blind off the CT side, but OC tags up, takes down Fallen. Sonic gets man, and JT finishes off the job at 2 KNG. So Cloud9, a little bit of a delayed reaction in terms of the retake, but trying to they can take him down. And Nasek in particular forcing Sonic to fall back, but he can't escape reality. He can't escape his fate. It's Fallen. Takes him down as they draw attention away from the B bomb side. That's where the bomb's currently going. CT side. Floppy trying to see if they can uh, get a quick frag back. OC and MOTM do turn it to a three versus two, but that's not a man advantage for MIBR. That bomb plant secured once again. JT and MOTM looking for a way back in. MOTM goes down. JT with his first frag in the round, but the pop flash in from JT and MOTM with a FAMAS out. He can get two frags out of this. He's damaged one. He's sprayed through. He's got two. OC does go down, but Famas is still in play, and Sonic's on a backstab. Lots of damage done to MIBR. Cloud9 have bought themselves a serious chance in this one, and Sonic faces fur down to 18 HP. Man eventually swings out and takes him down, and they are going to rotate back. The M4 recovered for JT, but a two versus two now. And the CTs with a great little opportunity. Look at how far MOTM's pushed up right here towards ramp. He's got a serious fight ahead of him. Drops that bomb up against Furs, the last man left. 18 HP. He has all the info he needs to win this whole thing for Cloud9. A big, big round for CT sub that can make it happen. And MOTM closes it out with a massive 4K. It's fallen. Op shot to the hip of JT. It's enough to get a frag with Floppy being contested by KNG. He finds his head in the end. The five on three retake up for Cloud9. And I think they might just throw it away. Yep. Thirty seconds rain on the clock, MIBR gonna have to go now. Or for Fallen does catch off Sonic. So one good trade coming through from MIBR as the hit comes out, but they're gonna need to make it go a little bit further than this. Wrap around against OC Fur, gets himself a frag as well. JT over in Pop Dog gonna try and find his way out. They still got MTM close and he almost denies the bomb plant, but no. Fur and Fallen get away alive. And JT tagged up as Floppy goes down. He's left alone with the M4 in Pop. Eventually JT will get spotted out there. Know where he is, he's trying to make him take him down. So much wallbang damage. I think JT will go up with the bomb as well. Yeah. Over, Fur moving in. Orp shot will not connect, but it will give up his position. OC does take out one. JT with a secondary kill. KNG drops his own right. Taco and KNG do follow suit. AWP gets his second kill. Fallen can finally respond and turn onto the scout. Sonic, however, one versus one now with a trade. He can't take Taco out of the uh, round, though. So towards Ramp and Send him on the idea of another B-side hit, which has been so, so, so successful at MIBR, but MOTM takes out man towards Ivy. Will this give up the ghost? It won't. Floppy drops the bomb again towards White. He has been the consistent problem for MIBR, and OC is going to be another one. Takes out two. If you can get some uh, exit frags, some damage done. Not even that. OC, quick flick to the head. MIBR make their hit out of T-Con. MOTM will get aggressive. Nice flash in. We'll spot two players, but only get the one kill. Fallen responds with his orb fur, with his own frag. And Sonic to the back lines, gets it to a three versus three. Fallen still pushing up aggressive. Spots one on the bomb site. He gets a quick flick, looks back to the last man. But Sonic is the man. They get a 2K instead. Bomb drop. Can he spot out KNG? I don't think he can. He does see him in the end. He gets that flick. Three kills to his name. And on the bomb train. Moves up close. Taco spot sprays and gets MIBR to eight. 
a quick play out from Pop Dog. It seems like it might well be the MIBR. And now ATM is ready for the one, two. JT getting his kill in his own right. Up here towards Tcon, though. He falls down relatively quickly. Sonic keeping the man advantage for Cloud9. His MIBR's aggression has been shut down. Effective so far. Only fur left. And creeping oh so slowly so far. Spots out the Orpa. OC tapped up. And maybe fur might have another chance. Three kills to his name. Floppy will face towards him. Tap up spray and get the team ace for the CT. AT can respond on the entrance. Top of blue train. He'll be spotted. Fur will see two T side players crossing. Sonic and OC continue the frags for Cloud9. Plant will be secured. Three versus two. Taps once. They've got to fall, stick the full 10 seconds as well. I think he's going for it. Is he going for the whole thing? No, he's got the shot against MOTM. And now he's got to go for the whole thing. He's not got a lot more time left. They're buying it. Sonic fakes. Oh, Taco Taco! Oh my god! He's got enough time! He's got enough twitch! MIBR! They might just trade places here if Fur's not careful. Meanwhile, Cloud9 putting their utility down towards the B-bomb site. Taco's forced back. JT is spotted. MOTM gets one, but Fur doubles up. Takes that bomb out of the hands of Cloud9. And the AWP have fallen there to support it. OC takes Pop Dog back in the bomb extension. But a one versus three left for him. He's got the AWP back in his hands. he will evade Taco entirely, but Taco's going to swing. And OC doesn't have a head anymore. Down in the pop dog, facing up, spotting one at the back of the train. Takes out May and Molotov's coming in. The AWP out of connector, fallen on top of green train. Fur gets one, fallen gets another. Sonic continuing to trade though with the Deagle. M4 now in his hands, but fallen is not missing his shots. Backed up over towards Ivy and Floppy continues to press. Fallen does finally miss one, and that gives a little bit of breathing room, but he still faces back blind, connects his third kill. And OTM now left alone, gets one close. Looking up towards heaven though, he does not see Taco. And Fallen knows where to go. Four kills up for the IGL. Majority of MIBR players so far in this one. Flashbang over from JT as he tries his best to respond. Fur taking out, blind taps towards Fallen's position, but he doesn't get any damage or kills. MOTM, meanwhile, has taken the distraction play to move up through Ivy. As Sonic looks for another frag, he finds Mayan, forcing Fallen to fall back. But KNG has got an orb of his own. He connects two frags, or him and Fallen connect two frags, rather. There's a two versus three still to the favor of Cloud9. A confident bit of control for this T side. MOTM ready for Taco for a smoke. goes down. And KNG now left alone. It's KNG's turn. One kill, foul Molotov to the bomb site, and unfortunately, his time is up. There's two players to defend against it on the B site. MOTM will take damage. OC seeing in the backstab, and he drops that bomb. P250 for Fallen. MOTM deals with him and his backup. KNG is on the site, and MOTM takes him down, but he doesn't stop Fur. Floppy back to one versus one, all evened out. Burning in the Molotov, and Mayans round here towards summit position, spotted and sprayed. Bomb out in the open, and he's got to go through this CT side player. Floppy has got to get this kill. Up and in towards the ladder, does not see him towards yellow. He didn't catch vision, sees him now towards Khan. Looking for the headshot, bursting through. The man's just playing for time here, he's stalling. Here's him coming forward, and eventually the spray goes better for Floppy. Takes him to critical health though. Flashbangs in for Mayan, spots out Floppy. Fur gets JT, meanwhile Floppy now caught out between CTs up and down the shot. And now it's all left to OC, who's burning alive right on the bomb site. He's going to try and stall for time, but that might be hard taking the time with this one. Is Fur going to get there? He's not going to get there to get the defuse in. Flashbang's over, and JT, ooh, he still kicks the headshot despite receiving the first bit of damage. Fur and Taco cleaning up the rest of the T side, and Fur goes absolutely ham. Three frags. Sonic might catch him on the cross, indeed he does, but he's the last man standing for a clutch for Cloud9. Tags up Taco, but now they know where he is. Going up top of the green train, give up. Into round 27. Here we go. Fur round at the corner looking for Sonic and OC will spot. OC drop that bomb. Knows that Sonic's somewhere close. Floppy will peek out with his P250 as JT strikes on the Taco on the site. Man gets one, but him and KNG are traded back, leaving it all to Fallen. 1v3. He's out on Con. Two aggressive CT players unpunished and now Fallen can shine. One kill found. I think he heard Sonic. He hit him drop down for certain. Now damage coming through from the rifle. That's there to back him up as Fur gets him out. 
And MOTM is the last man left standing. One versus four. And MIBR, <laughs> with a risky force buy, still makes it come up green. And fallen. Molotov in. Fur goes down first. Mayen gets one. Fallen gets the collateral and the third. And that is a way that you win a map against Cloud9. And look at how far pushed up he is. Cloud9 might not be expecting this, but they are. Spotted out. MOTM takes both him and KNG down. Rounds the corner and gets a third headshot. On for the fourth against Taco. No, Taco denies. But Floppy's up here with a block of his own right. Will take the man down. I'll have to get that reset in to try and reload the view model. But Fallen not here for very long either. That's a... Here come the smokes, here comes the utility, and here come the shots and the sprays that MIBR just aren't ready for. Great reactions from Floppy with a spray coming in from Sonic. The plant down towards default. I promise you they can hunt down for these B-site players. Tap half by come out from this squad before they can make a decent buy happen again. This a position from Fur though, the M4 boosted up and Sonic shut down. Heart control, fountain control, down towards... Ooh, a flick from JT. Continuing that spread to try to see if he can take out Taco. OC assists in the sequence. The reaction times from Cloud9 and the crosshair positioning certainly getting to MIBR, but they can still find the responses. Fur taking JT to three versus three. And Cloud9 consider their positions, go back towards the B-bomb site. They've got fallen up aggressive and AK in his hands and he's hearing footsteps. Will OC and Floppy check this? They will, but they fall anyway. And Fallen up for three frags of his own right. Smoke's coming down, Malt off the force map position. He still sees MOTM and gets the headshot. Paco shoulder baits and recognizes that Cloud9 are there in Monster. They have been for a lot of the time. Molotov smokes incoming, Fallen with a pop flash available, but Taco's got a strike. JT takes him and his backup down. And that's all the B-side defensive. Once again dismantled by the quick and confident hits from Cloud9. The Sonic sprays down KNG for good measure. Two versus four as the plant comes through. Now we are CT side. Smokes up, flashes over. Taco on the ramp, takes out Sonic. Looks at MOTM, but his spray's a bit awkward. And the bomb moves up to the B-bomb site. Throw on a backstab though. He's going to grab the AWP. He's going to grab the bomb. Flashbang is coming through and the CT start to wrap around from the A-bomb site. Fur's got all the cards, but not for long. Floppy picks that bomb up, goes for the plant. Is Fur going to swing on him? I think he might just do. Try and take the fight, but Floppy gets the bomb down before going down himself. MOTM left alone. Catches Fallen at point blank, turns around towards Fur, taps on through, gets a second kill. But not the final frag against KNG. MIBR in the smoke continue the utility usage floppy looking for taco spots his head and sprays through the smallest of pixels and that's all you need two-man advantage Fur's gonna try and change that drop that bomb the CT's now know where clown are gonna commit 30 seconds I don't think they have enough to go from long towards the B bomb site but actually no they, they have got time in through connector, smoke's coming up. Fallen's gonna try drop in towards water. He could be the thorn in their side. Floppy's gonna try and take him out of the equation, and indeed he does. Ten seconds remaining, the bomb can go down. Indeed, the plant will come through. Oh, two kills for Floppy to close out the round. Four kills in total for him. Smokes up and over, JT makes his way out and about. Kree in his hands, flash over, man spotted. And the spray down to his head. Means the man of knowledge for Cloud9, followed up by Floppy down to Connector. Taco is also dead, as the T's just steamroll their way into the bomb site now. KNG with the AWP. One versus four. Plant down towards default. This is 11 for Cloud9. They're gonna go rush. They're gonna go rush. Because they can. <laughs> Sprays up, Taco, and then do actually punish it. So there you go. Cloud9 getting a bit reckless, and MIBR showing that they still got life here in this map. OC gets one spray to the second, just looking for that headshot against him. 43 HP, though. He's at a major disadvantage, and Man's gonna prove it with a deagle down. The nades down into the short position. 
Start on the utility base is Fallen and Men. Do get the first two picks. There you go. Something going for MIBR, but OC and Floppy take it right back. And flashed in, looking towards water, takes him down, looks onto the second man. The AWP AKMG does click for the headshot, but Sonic there for the trade. And the one versus two for Fur that he can use. It's a 5 HP on OC, but the AWP is a one-shot kill weapon. Fur's got to get that first shot off on him, and he's got to find Sonic as well. The spray's better than the headshot. Headshot for one man. Four versus four. Round the corner. MOTM gets his second kill. And now they act towards the B bomb site. OC's going to rotate away from the A site. And Sonic left alone to get pushed back. The clinical headshots coming in for the USPs. But Taco's got some of his own. Three versus two scenario. The bomb's got to get planted, but KNG wasting time. Now the backup is here towards Monster. He gets it to evens, and they're going to counter rotate towards the A bomb site. Taco will go down. And it's all left to KNG. G back towards back, MOTM checking every single corner, bunny hopping his way to victory as Floppy receives, sees KNG, takes a lot of damage, and MOTM gets the final headshot. MIBR are going to rush straight though, I don't think this is the call, the Molotov's in, the smoke's back out, Floppy with his AK up close and personal, they jump around the corner, and Floppy gets two training back for JT, three headshots, almost a fourth, but OC chimes in to deal with Taco, and Sonic is still alive and kicking. The broken by for MIBR, it's fallen. Takes out MOTM, goes to 1 HP, so it's not that great of a pickup with Taco also getting tagged up. Sonic's going to aggress against him as well. Taco down, 4 4. And KNG will take JOT back at the very least elsewhere on the map. Furs making his way inland over the woods mid. OC drops his back up, man. Can get the trade, and KNG has found his way into the B bomb site. So actually, the kills go in the way of MOBR for a moment. And floppy left alone as the bomb plant comes through towards the A site. 1 versus 3 for him. To win Cloud9 overpass and regain the lead in this series. Check out Truck, check out Dumpster, check out Fur. But Fur with the AWP. Fur drops, MOTM gets him in return, looks on for the second 3k to take away from Man 6 HP. He just falls back. I've fallen. Around that corner looking for Sonic. Molotov in against MOTM, might catch him off. Might burn alive for this one. Spray through doing the damage, but just doesn't get it done. GG, Cloud9, 16 to four. And MOTM in pit, here we go. Molotov against him, what a flick, what a headshot. Three from MOTM, wrecks MIBR, and looks for even more. Out to the gap, C's fallen, ace time for MOTM. He gets not all of them, but I don't think it matters. I think we set the pace, guys. <laughs> I think we set the pace. Well, Taco wants to take it back into his hands, though. Floppy, deagled out. Man, sets OC up for a ride. Sonic, able to trade back onto one over in the banana area. The Deagles continue to press forward here towards Pit MOTM. He's not going to get his ace this time around either. No kills, in fact, for the second round. And MIBR, well, to respond to Cloud9. Gonna, oh! Beautiful shots of their own. It's 45 seconds. MIBR continue to move towards the B site, but Sonic. Blind sprays continue and completely blind shots. Second kill from Taco makes his way through the smoke. And Sonic tapping on towards Fallen's position will continue the pressure with a 3k. Bomb out in the open. Cloud9 have control. Fur and Fallen are falling away. It's Cloud9 have for a little bit of luck, admittedly. They're able to turn the tie back to their favor, the CTs. Murder some MIBRT side players. Floppy up against Taco. Sprays through, takes him down. The first frag being found as now. Here comes the utility from MIBI execution towards the B bomb site. Spray from Sonic gets his second Kinesis spray on May and he's completely blinded off by smoke and flashbang. Oh, the Fallen gets the collateral in return. Second time in the series he's tagged up as OC and MOTM clean up the last couple of frags. Over incendiary down from MOTM here towards Pit. JT's backing up. Good sprays come through and fallen. Gets that trade back at the least. Four versus two. And JT finishes off the job. Oh, floppy with the reactions. Damage early on down towards Banana once again. Sonic moving in with him. 
Firstly, from MOTM takes out one. OC turns around with the AWP to keep the two-for-one trades going. Floppy also quick to react on KNG. And the bomb plant to default will come through from MIBR. So at least they gain a small economical boost, which may have been the main thing here. That is over, Fallen looks up, takes down one. JT sprays onto man, but OC burns his teammate alive. And he's trying to see if he can recover the situation by taking out Fallen. He's stalling for time, but the flick is good. Man sprays through, nade to finish off Sonic. Lands a bit deep, but it doesn't matter. His second face will end off the man in the front of the B site control. Furs also pretty aggressive alongside, I believe that's uh, uh, Fallen. With TM going down, JT overrules Arch will swing out, take out for OC. We left alone as the last man as eventually the trades come in from KNG. AWP versus AWP have fallen. Nosey's there. The 65 points of health though, the utility has done their damage and Sonic predictably sprays on to take out Fallen. MOTM meanwhile falls in the apartments. Insignia is back from OC, getting that flick for the first point blank towards Fur. Scopes in, but Floppy has his back. Unfortunately, KNG will still get a decent kill in. The bomb gets dropped, however, as Floppy doubles up and Taco is left alone. Once again for MIBR. And that's the good round I was talking about. Orb kill though. Floppy expecting aggression, sees Fur, Mortov's out, gonna go a little bit too high and wide, so unfortunately for Taco, he will not get damaged. 2 HP though, he's still very, very low. 4 versus 3 scenario, and they're gonna push forward straight up towards Quad, the CTs are gonna evade him, and get the kill against him. Sonic is 100 and Fallen is 35. Now he's got a headshot, and Taco left alone. In his way through Arch, 35 seconds on the clock. The CT is wrapping around to try. Take him out, OC. Turn around at the wrong moment, Taco. Ooh, Sonic. Taco did manage to recover it with two beautiful shots on his USPs. He's getting a couple more here. KNG with one of his own. He doubles up on towards OC and JT up against MOTM next. Two versus four. And the CT's forcing that bomb to rotate away. KNG, ready for even more heads, catches Sloppy with a triple, and the Quadra is denied by Mayan. JT, pacing up against KNG, doing some damage onto him, but KNG gets that kill, Taka follows through. Two frags to his name, and Floppy and Sonic are able to respond back. Three versus two, actually, M4 in Floppy's hand, he gets that kill. Bomb plant out, safe plant towards the, yep, back corner. Okay. Hearing those footsteps towards short, he knows that the CTs are incoming, but what more can he do from this? They can be happy with this eco so far, but if he gets any more, then that'll be brilliant. But he'll smoke out and try and keep the CTs from rotating towards B. Fallen, AWP in hand, sprays through first, let them all cross. He's right there in the midst of the smokes and two kills coming from Fallen, making it three! Made to the bomb site. 10 seconds left as he gets all four. OC close range sprays around. And goes for the plant towards first, just in time. The time of the hit zero, and Taco will make his way in. He's got a spray, he's got a second kill, and a one versus one, which he could still win. And indeed, he does. What's a round from both OC and Fallen. This corner with the AWP flashbang over doesn't catch a kill on Cloud9, and now they're gonna wrap back over. Little do they know that there's only one player on the A bomb site. still JT moves forward, does not see someone at Nubox, Fur is over at Tree, now they see the man at the back, here we go, they're gonna face up together, but Fur sees one, they're gonna catch Sonic and MOTM, this is a massive spray, that just won the round for MIBR, JT cannot win this, he it's physically impossible, he'll try his best, but the SMG is what takes him out in the end. They damage to MOTM and JT from one dunk and Cloud9 make their way quickly in. Another HE to follow up from Taco. It lands way too deep. And JT forces KNG to rotate out of position. Taco gets one, two, eventually dropped in by Floppy. But MOTM is able to keep the trades going. Three versus two though. Cloud9 still at the disadvantage. MOTM best to pass that weapon off to his teammate on the bomb site. Trying to get back out of dodge here towards the pit area. Deagle from OC. Flashbang evaded. Looks on towards first position. MOTN's got to be the man to deal with him. He's come up behind the wall. Burst through 60 HP. Spots fallen as he fades away through the smoke. He also goes down. MOTN spots the next man, also knowing where Mayan is. And Cloud9, a serious chance. They're turning it back around. Three kills for MOTM. Fur rounds that corner, sprays manically. But OC peeks in and shoots him in the back at the right time. 
Uh, looks on to try and shut him out. Flash side of smokes in, sprays on two. MOTM and JT go falling, MIBR. Two big frags to find, Cloud9. Do have access to the site. Where are they gonna plant? How are they gonna play the post plant? OC towards the back lines here. Floppy's gonna get dinked down. This is not looking good. Good flash over and blind. Fur gets Sonic. Taco gets OC. And Fallen gets Floppy. Coordinated. Incendiary's and come down. The Molotov's also out from the T side. And JT, another 180 towards Fallen with Floppy getting KNG. And Cloud9. Another big steamroll execution. In the end, MOTM closes out that last frag onto. Flashes go over, nades up. Damage done to JT and Sonic, especially, but if their roles were swapped, that would have been a kill. It's not for Cloud9. They have all five players in check and making their way in convergence to the A bomb site. Man and Taco on site in particular. JT gets one. Taco spots out two, only gets that one. Frag looks on towards Sonic. KNG also to back him up, but Taco eventually falls at point blank to OC's AWP. He also tags up KNG as he looks for the bomb plant to the back wall. 3v2 for MIPR. And the nade up, that could take out OC. No, he doesn't land right. Out of dodge. Out of the way. Maybe are going to make their way on towards short. It's floppy here to cover it off. Flashbang evades it. Takes out fur. 2v2 we will go. Cloud9 in touching distance as OC gets a second kill. And against Ford and the M4 will fall. It's map, match, and qualifier point for Cloud9. It's Taco. 30 seconds. Crucial frags to find. He's completely blind. Out towards Arch JT. Shuts him down. KNG and Mayan are the last two players to stop Cloud9 from closing this out. They will get that first. And the second coming in from KNG. Molotov's up. Sprays through. Mayan goes down. It's a three versus three. Making it two. And damage done to Fur through the smoke. As Cloud9 secure the plant. 40 seconds to get the retake. And Fur's the last man left. Trying to transfer.